Hi, in this video I will show you how to record video on PowerPoint. So the purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to record video on top of PowerPoint. I will show you how to save PowerPoint as a video file and then I'll discuss some of the common issues that I've encountered. Here's my example of a PowerPoint presentation that is ready to be to have a recording on top of it. So first I will go to file here at the top uh, left corner and then underneath these options I will choose export and then I will select the option to create a video. Here I'm given some choices. Underneath this drop down I'll choose to record timings and narrations. And here I am. Um, so I'm taken to this uh, dashboard where if you see at the top left corner here, there's the option to record, stop the recording, or to replay it. Um, at the bottom, there's uh, tools where I can draw and mark up my presentation. Next, I, um, I'm going to just press the record button so that uh, you see what happens. So there's a countdown timer, and now this recording is happening inside of PowerPoint. So I can move forward, and the recording is still ongoing. I can press pause if I want to, and I can stop the recording. Um, now, something that you should understand is that a new recording is saved on each slide. So there's a separate recording happening every time you press the record button and it's saved on the individual slides. So how that affects your entire recording is that anytime you started the recording and then you decide, oh, I want to mention something else that's on this previous slide and you go back and you stop the recording and you go back and then you record again on the previous slide, what it does is it replaces, it replaces your new recording on top of your old recording. So it's not like a timeline of you going back and forth. It's what it looks like to the viewer is that when they get to that slide, it's you, it's recording you just simply going back. So it doesn't record the history of you having been on that slide before. Um, so the best thing to do is if you forget something, then just go back to that slide and record over it as if it's the first time you're talking um, on that slide. Or if it's just something small, then just mention it very briefly and then don't go back to that slide, okay? So I'm going to continue recording here and move on to the next slide and I'm going to stop here. Um, something else I want to do is let's try some of these markup tools. I'm going to use blue because that's my favorite color. Draw a little happy face there. Okay, that's a terrible happy face. Anyways, so now I'm finished. Um, you'll notice that for some reason my video stopped. I just realized it's because I did not press the record button. Okay, so if I press the record button again, then it's going to go back and uh, now, now it's recording on top of this slide. Um, and so students probably didn't see me marking this up because I forgot to press the record button. Anyways, that's basically how it works. Once you're finished, you can press stop or you can go directly and close this um, recording. And if I go back to my home, oops, excuse me. Um, if I just close this uh, file uh, tab, okay. you can see that I have a recording at the bottom of each of my PowerPoint slides that I was on previously. And then what you should do next is you go to File and Save As. And when you save it, save it as an MP4 file. And this is a video file that you can uh, share 
uh, send and just share with your students and um, or your viewers. And then what they'll see is they'll just see um, a nice little video of you talking um, on top of this PowerPoint. Here are some of the common issues that um, I've encountered when doing this. The first thing is that I was unable to find this option on the Mac version of PowerPoint. If you're able to figure it out on the Mac version of PowerPoint, then please leave comments um, of how to do this or where to find this below. And I, I also wonder if it's maybe the version that I have. I don't know. Um, another issue that I noticed was that the file sizes tend to be very large. Uh, so I don't recommend doing this if you have a slower or older computer. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that if you are uh, using this option to record lectures for students, it's important, uh, just out of best practice, to try to keep the lecture under, well, between 10 and 15 minutes max. Um, I found that students tend to just stop watching the video after the first five minutes or so. Um, so if you have a, a lecture uh, slide presentation that you usually use for, let's say, a 45 minute lecture, uh, just break the file down into maybe three or four parts and then do your recording separately for each of these parts. And you'll find that it won't feel too long as you're waiting for uh, the file to process. Speaking of processing, I noticed that um, whenever the I'm saving the video as an MP4, uh, in order to see where the status for the the processing is at, uh, you just open up your PowerPoint. Um, first off, you're unable to close the PowerPoint while the video is being processed. So if you open up the PowerPoint, then at the very bottom of the PowerPoint window, you'll see that there's a status bar. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, then please like this video and subscribe. Thank you.